Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Sporting Lisbon's Road to Redemption. This is Freestyle. We are coming off a pretty successful start to the Sporting Lisbon career mode. However, this is still a young team and we have to replace some of the leftover players with Youth Academy, which means it's only going to get tougher. We're looking to continue our strong start and find some Youth Academy gems. Let's see how it goes. So, we are coming off our first run of games. We played about, I don't know, six games, seven games, maybe maybe more. Let's take a quick look at our calendar to give us, you know, our starting point. Wow, we've lost four games in a row. I just, <laughs> I didn't realize that. So, the cup game over there against Braga, we can ignore that loss. Uh, again, because there's a cup ban... What I do is I put a team that is clearly not capable of winning so that I can forfeit those games. And now I'm out of the cup competitions. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I accidentally put myself in the Champions League. I, I forgot to turn that setting off when starting the career mode. So I'm in the Champions League when I don't want to be. So now I have to find a way to make sure to skip all of those games and get knocked out of that um, and forfeit. Hilariously enough, the first one, I somehow my team somehow managed to win. You can see right there yeah, on the 17th. Somehow I managed to win. I don't know. But, you know, we're coming off losses against Benfica 3-4, Rio Avenue 3-2. We won against Ferenc 3-1. Um, and then lost against Aruta 4-0. So, I mean, all in all, it's it's really not been too bad of a start. We're sitting in ninth place. Three wins, one draw, four losses in the league, which is, you know, from my perspective, fantastic. Given the rating of my team, which is about 1.5 stars, give or take, you know, like, I'll take that. When we look at our team, you can see this is what we got in place. So slowly, all of these players that are real players, we are going to get out of the team and replace with youth academy players for the first season. And then, you know, starting season two, we can do player sales and bring in new players. But the, the point is to try and get as many Youth Academy players into the squad as possible. I have some backups for some of these players, but still there's a lot of guys in here that we need to slowly move out. What we're going to do there is going to start things off by putting a bunch of these players on the transfer list. Now that I'm out of the, you know, the cup competition, one of the cup competitions, I can start selling players. I think the Champions League, you know, group stages, the new kind of tournament format, I think it ends before December. So I should be safe. These player sales that I do now will not count against money earned for next season because these were players that I had to have on my team to start the career mode. So not really players that I want. I can maybe go through my youth academy real quick. A uh, couple of high potential players. Actually, this guy's kind of dropping off. We're not going to keep some of these guys with these under 80 potentials for too long, but it looks like his potential is going up. So maybe we'll keep them around. Oh, look at that. So it'll tell you when the potential is going up or not. Interesting. I've never, I didn't notice that before. But if you look right below me, it's telling me this guy's potential is going up. We'll keep an eye on this and we'll see if it actually goes up in a positive way. Okay. There, you know, again, there are, there are people that are decent and then people that are not so decent. So it's growing. It's getting there. So we got reports from Portugal, Mozambique, and Brazil. You can see what we're looking for. We're looking for a center mid out of Brazil and a striker, a right back and a left back out of Mozambique, and a defender out of Portugal. So let's take a look what we got here. Ooh, look at this dude. Diego Lopez. He's a little short at 5'10 for a center back, but he's got 68 to 92 potential, 1 to 2 play style, 350,000. <sighs> Sign him up. I think I can put him in my first team. Uh, let's look at our left back, right back. What do we got over here? At first glance, doesn't look like anything good. Jabula Barbosa. Looks like he's got a decent potential. His speed is low. I mean, he's only 15, so he's going to grow. But again, nothing nothing that jumps out at you. You know what I'm saying? Nothing that goes, oh, yeah, this guy's. So we'll keep that scouting report going. And let's take a look at Brazil. 66 to 84 at 14 years old. Not bad, but let's keep growing. 71 to 90, 89. More like it. Okay, he's a right winger. We don't use a right winger, but hey. Ooh, uh, Cam striker Hugo Prayer. He's only 14 years old, but he looks like he's got a good potential and a good overall. So we're going to sign him up to our youth academy. Fabio Machado, 71 to 94 potential at 94 years old. At 94 and 14 years old. Sign him up. This is the guy we're looking at. 
Look at that potential, 69 to 93. Look at that overall, 50 to 68, 550,000. This guy is a starter. Boom. Cardosa signed up. Alex Correa looks okay. We'll keep scouting him. Here is our Youth Academy squad. So we're going to look at the players that we signed here. The first one is Diego Lopez, 54 overall. He's got the power header trait. We're going to sign up. He's going into our first team. We got a center back now. I'm happy with this. So promote to senior team. We got a right back. Look at this dude. 16 years old. I can sign this guy up. Um, okay, so this guy's 14 years old. He's a trickster playing at Cam. So if he's a trickster, we're going to keep him on the Cam kind of um, growth. I want the passing and dribbling to be what goes up the most. We'll do this one. Playmaker. Yep. Advanced playmaker. That's the one we want to grow. Now Cardosa, this guy can go to our first team. He's got no play styles. He looks really good. We need to convert him to a position I use though. Given that pace, the shooting, passing, and dribbling, we're going to convert him to striker. See, this is the problem. Like when you specifically ask for a striker and they give you a right winger and then they won't let you convert him to a striker. Like I don't, like I don't have wingers in my team. So why do you give me them? 107 weeks. Really? Really? Those stats? tell you 107 weeks i'm gonna i'm gonna try it i don't care so we got porto in the league up next we're gonna play this game <sighs> we're gonna get absolutely crushed again which is kind of the norm for us but we do have some new youth academy guys here so lopez is left footed so let's put him into the starting lineup and cabral will start over pinto there we go so we have two players left on this team fonseca and Macedo that we need to replace in our starting lineup and we'll be good. We're playing Porto now. I'm going to tell you this. This jersey over here, that orange Porto jersey. When I was in Portugal during the summer, I ended up buying a sporting Lisbon jersey. But that orange Porto is so nice in real life. I, like, I was close to purchasing it. I was so close to purchasing that Porto orange jersey. It's such a nice jersey. And this game started off terribly. Uh, right off the bat, we pass the ball directly to them. And uh, we're going to get crushed. That's fine, though. <sighs> Thank goodness they took a terrible shot to start things off there. Let's go. Somebody in the middle, please. That should be a red. Our youth academy guy was making a run down the wing. And he gets taken out. Back-to-back -back games with a red card against the opposing team. All this means they're going to win. All right, let's bring a guy over here. Let's do this. I, li I like to control the ball. I'm not a big fan of, like, just lobbing it in. Across. Come on, baby. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Get over here. Let's go! Gavin Lee! Gavin Lee with a freaking mind-blowing goal. Let's go! Our youth academy central attacking midfielder out of Canada. You love to see it. What a play. Great header in from our wing back who won the foul. And look at that. One touch. I can't believe we scored against Porto. I couldn't score against a, like a 16th ranked team, but I can score against second ranked Porto. Whatever you say. Okay. Uh oh. For the moment to break through. Can he finish off the upright? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay. Do you know what the odds are that the ball hits the post and goes back that way? <laughs> See, even the game was surprised that I scored a goal and it wasn't part of the script, so it's got to quickly take it back. Guys, please get back. Great save. That's a nice cutback. Huge block, but still danger. Will it open up for him? And it's in an incredible Yeah, 17 guys in the penalty box and nobody can get a block. Okay. What a pass to Ambrose. Let's go. To Machado. Ah. They're going to score another one here, aren't they? Looking to create an angle. Can he finish? 
literally called it. <sighs> maybe, maybe I'm incorrect, right? Maybe I'm wrong in saying this, but a team with 10 men should not be able to counterattack better than a team with 11. But hey, what do I know? But hey, what do I know? Oh, what a play by Ambrose. What a play by Ambrose. Let's go. Brendan Ambrose, what a touch. Receives the ball, cuts it quickly inside, gets around number 20, and just calm, cool, collected, hits the back of the net. Nice steal. Let's go. No time to dwell on the ball. What a pass to Ambrose. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Ambrose. Let's go. What a counterattack. And Brendan Ambrose, the Youth Academy Canadian striker, puts the team on his back, buries his second goal of the game. And we're tied up 3-3. Three, three. This is what we needed. This is the movement we needed. This is the, again, against a 10-man team, this is how we should be playing. Now it needs a good ball in. I mistimed that. Making decent progress here. For the lead here. Nice, nice. Great job. Great defending. But he's perfect for uh, Lisbon. Come on, goalkeeper. Let's go. Great goalkeeping by Tavares. Get this ball out to Lima. To the middle of the field. Let's go. Great attack. What a pass to Bika. Let's go. What a comeback. Down 3-1. Against 10 men sporting, uh, Porto, I understand. But down 3-1. We climb back. We control the passes. Slickly, slickly slide the ball into Bika. Oh, what a pass that was. And again, one on with the goalkeeper because like, I got this. And he just gently puts it into the side of the net. Okay, maybe now we need to go park the bus. Let's go. Don't do what Arsenal did against City. What? Hold on and play amazing? Those damn cheaters. Let's go. What a steal. I screwed that up. I screwed that up. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Just keep them in their zone and we'll be fine. Let's go. Sporting Lisbon. Come back to beat Porto. What are the odds of that? What a performance. Let's go. Two goals by Ambrose. A goal and assist by Bika off the bench. Zachary Scott gets an assist. Gavin Lee with a goal. Steven Ross with an assist. And look, Telmo Tavares, man. He made a couple of good saves. Kept us in the game. Huge performance. Huge win. You love to see it. Let's go. We beat freaking Porto. Biggest win of the year by far. After that incredible comeback against Porto, things kind of went sideways. As you can see, we ran into a terrible run of games. I think we lost seven games in a row, highlighted by a 7-2 loss to Estoril, followed by probably one of my worst losses ever, 9-1 against Gil Vicente. We sort of made things right with that 5-5 victory over Vitoria and then a 1-0 victory over Vicente, chasing that with a 3-2 win over Estoril. However, the losing ways continued with a crushing defeat to FC Porto 5-1, that another annihilation 8-1 against Santa Clara, and then finally losing 4-0 to Vitoria. In all honesty, these games were not fun to play, there wasn't much excitement in them, and unfortunately I just couldn't make a good video out of these games. However, we did play in our very first Youth Academy tournament, so let's see the highlights of that. I'm going to play a Youth Academy tournament game. And we'll put that in our weekly video. Let's do that. Let's have some fun at least. The amount of times I just quit playing because of I lose my mind. <sighs> Out to number 11. Okay. Oh, what a move. What a move. Great save by the goalkeeper. We almost made a fantastic uh, play there. Okay, let's go to this guy. 
Okay. And then cross it in. <laughs> Great steal. There we go. Number five is through. Ferreira's through. Ferreira's in. Ferreira's in. Let's go. All right. We're, we're, we're starting off strong. We're starting off strong. We can't win anything, but we can win Youth Academy games, hopefully. Oh my God, what a header from outside the box and our goalkeeper makes a huge save. Jeez. Costa, let's go. Our giant behemoth of a man. It's hilarious how big these guys look against the uh, other Youth Academy players. He's only 6'3". So if I bring him to the, the senior team, he won't be that big. But against, with these Youth Academy guys, he's so much bigger than them. Oh. Oh, what a shot. Thank goodness that missed the net. All right. Up the middle. There we go. Keep running. There we go. Come on, Ferreira. Across. Chip the goalkeeper. No, that was sick. That was going to be such a silky, silky goal. And I put it over the top of the net. Playing with no audio is a little weird. Or like with no uh, commentators and stuff. Great steal. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Another goal. Let's go, baby. This youth academy is looking good. This is what we need. We need the tournament to do well so that we can build our team into something that can actually, you know, survive in the uh, top leagues. Oh, what a play. Cardoso with the ball. Just pokes it in. Just pink. I should just do a career mode of me playing this tournament because clearly I can handle this. <laughs> Down the middle. We got a foul. Blue card. What the hell? What's a blue card? Oh, he's in the penalty box. Okay. What a pretty goal. The Youth Academy stepping up for... Oh my God, what a shot. Let's go. Great play all around by these guys. Let's go. I like this. I like the Youth Academy tournament. Next match, you know what? We'll play one more. We're in the finals. Oh, this is the finals. Okay. Sporting Lisbon versus Benfica in the finals of a Youth Academy tournament. Let's go. So what we're going to do, we're going to play our big guy. So Costa's in here. He's six. He looks massive. Where's the other guy? Gomez, six foot three. He's going to come in the middle as well. <laughs> we're going to play the finals of the youth tournament against Benfica. Let's see if we can get a win here. Let's go. Great start. We need our team here so that we can do a proper attack here. Great play by Coleman. Chip the goalkeeper. Let's go. What a goal by Coleman on the wing. Winning the ball and then just boonk over the goalkeeper. Let's go. I think the second episode of this YouTube series is literally going to be me playing this uh, youth tournament and that's it. <laughs> because it's the only one I'm having success in. Come on, Coleman. Come on, Coleman. Oh, sorry. Gomez is here to save the day. Gomez is, was there. Gomez was there to save the day, but we screwed it up. Okay. 1-1. One, 1-1. One, one, one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got this. Okay. Over the top to, go to Coleman. Who gets a second goal? What a run by Coleman. And I think that was um, Costa. Flicks the ball over the top. What a play. Let's go. Coleman again. Just powers through the defenders. No. <laughs> Sent it too far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness, what a counterattack by Benfica. <sighs> Damn it. I let in. I, that was cheap. I shouldn't have let them score there. To Coleman again. Turns. Coleman. What a save. What a save by this goalkeeper. Crap, we're going to lose. No, we still have time. We still have time. Okay, we have time. 
Come on, baby. Coleman. Or that's Gomez. Down the wing. Let's go. Costa. Costa. Let's go. Costa down the wing. Ties it up. Okay. We still have time. Seven minutes is definitely too long for these games. Hoo -hoo, Costa wins the header. Let's go. Perea, hold it. Go. Costa down the wing. Costa down the wing. Scores another one. Costa with a huge goal to put Sporting Lisbon up 4-3 in the finals of the Youth Academy Tournament. <sighs> okay, baby. We got this. What a save by Da Silva. I've given up on playing the career mode because I'm having such a bad day. So I've resorted to the Youth Academy Tournament to try and make myself feel better and I just let up a goal. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we got a free kick. Oh, we can't shoot it though, right? <gasps> what a play. What a quick play. Perea gives us the lead again. We're just gonna kill the clock, I don't care. I mean, I've, I've won the Youth Academy Tournament. This is the first Youth Academy Tournament I've played to completion, which is a weird way to say it. Sporting Lisbon wins the Youth Academy Tournament. Russell Coleman, the Canadian, gets player of the match. Costa, 8.6 with two goals. Da Silva made three saves. Perea, 18 passes, 8.7 rating. And Gabriel Gomesh, 7.9 rating. Let's go. So we won the tournament. It doesn't look like it does anything. I, player development doesn't look like... And ooh, I get a rising talent. Look at that. Only 5% of people have won a 5 or 5 tournament, youth tournament. Let's go. I am one of 5% of people. That's how, that's how special I am. That's why you come to watch these streams, because I'm that damn special. And that concludes episode two of our Road to Redemption. Unfortunately, the games really didn't go my way. However... We did have some success in our very first Youth Academy tournament that we played. So hopefully we can continue to grow from here and build a strong team focusing on season two. Let's be honest, it's gonna be season two before we're any good. If you did enjoy this episode, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell. And as always, you can join us over at twitch.tv freestyle to follow along live. Until next time, this is Freestyle signing off. Peace. Hey.